to our what? brand new watercolor wind stage. Do you notice anything different? Notice, look all around. <laughs> look all around and tell us if you notice anything different about where we are. <clears throat> this is this is our new filming station. Yes. We're going to be upgrading. And um, what's the word? The, the S- simulcast. Simulcast, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what? We are both old and And we're old with technology and (laughs) luckily we have somebody here joel to help us Mm -hmm. um but we are upgrading and now we can we're going live on multiple platforms at the same time so we are live on youtube right now youtube and and facebook so let us know if you happen to be watching yes where are you watching us from right now um tell us your where you're where you're watching and what platform you're watching and what you notice different about I us. I know. I know. We're so excited. We've we been... feel so cool and modern now. <laughs> and we're really not cool or no. modern. <laughs> but it's, it's it's all fake. So we, um, we're we upgrading our, um, our background, our location, and we will eventually be on... TikTok, in- Instagram. Yeah, Instagram, hopefully TikTok in the future, and mm-hmm. other platforms too. But for now, um, we have added YouTube. So if any of our YouTube um, subscribers are watching us live right now, mm-hmm. make sure you say hi in the comments. Actually, let me check the comments right now. Okay. Okay, we've got some Facebook ladies. Hello. Hello, Hello Diane. Diane is on. Good morning. <gasps> Diana Sheely. This oh. is the live that you want to watch. Diana, so stay on. Okay? You're going to hear your name come up. <laughs> You're getting a shout out, okay? Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Hello, Karen from Toronto. Oh, I don't think I knew that Karen was in Toronto. Yes, she is. She's like a fellow Canadian. I'm not she a Canadian. Is. I'm like a pseudo American Canadian. Mm-hmm. So, hello, Karen. I didn't know that. Yes, oh, Carol. Look at my other Canadian friends. Oh, here. yes. Hello, everybody. Do we have any YouTube? Anybody watching on YouTube now? Lots of friends on Facebook. Hello, hello. Yes, Peggy, it is gray and gloomy here in yeah, Oregon. It sure is. But, but we're used to it. You so. know, we've got lots of lights on in here. Yeah. So we don't <laughs> notice the uh, gloom outside. That's right. We're we've just got, ignoring it. It doesn't exist it. to us right now. <laughs> and we have so much to show you today. We were so excited oh, yes. about this stuff. We're really excited. So we've got exciting news, exciting things to show, mm-hmm. an exciting new office. And what do you think of our location? I know, you guys, can you Look see it all? That. It's so cute. We're gonna, you know, continue to make you know little small changes here and there, but we are here in this new place to stay, and we're very excited about it. Yeah, we are. We're very excited about it, and um, we hope you guys are too. Yes. Okay, and Joel is okay. So he great. is. Right. Oh, <laughs> okay. We've, we've got, got we've, on YouTube. Yes, yes. Great. Awesome. <laughs> Um, okay, Ruth Ann says we are so clear. I'm so glad oh, you said that. I'm so that glad that is you one s- of the reasons why we are yes here yes and upgraded and upgraded because we needed to upgrade. We <laughs> had some issues. We just can't have those issues no. anymore. You no. need to be able to see us clearly. Yes, <laughs> and see our projects clear clearly. So yes. we've got a project for you. We have a new release, and you guys, um, you're going to see the new. Freebies. The new freebies, you are just gonna go crazy for these. They are so cute. They're they a little different. Are the cutest. They're different, things. but they are available right now. So uh, mm-hmm. we're gonna show you all of those. We're gonna show you the new releases, and then Kim, what's the big thing you want to show? I get to finally. Okay, you guys are used to me talking about my class coming up on April thirteenth here at our office um, in Oregon, and finally I get to show you what we're making. So, oh my gosh, it's so I cute. am just it's so like cute. chomping at the bit to show yeah. you that because yes. we feel like this might be the best one yet. The favorite journal. Yes. I mean, it <laughs> might be. And it's with uh, the new release. So that makes it even cuter. So you yes. guys, it's going to be, you're just going to love it. Yes. Um, we want to do a question. So um, I've had this question and I've done questions in the past and I've had this question, but I wanted to save it until Kim was on with me. Yes. Because it, you know, it involves her. <laughs> and this is from Roberta. And she says, Bonnie, did you ever have sessions to teach your kids how to watercolor? Or were they just interested? And that's the key word. Were you ever yeah, interested, interested when you were little? <laughs> um, and when did you start? So I'm going to just let you answer that. 
You know, I would say that like growing up, I don't think I really like understood. I, like I never really did s- s- like actual stamping growing up, but the more we got into watercolor, like as an adult, just, I don't know. I just have Picked always, yeah, you just kind of pick it up mm-hmm. as you see. I saw her doing it all the time and it's like really easy of a technique now that she's kind of mastered that. Um, and so I guess just over time, you just kind of Mm -hmm. pick up the technique. And then I started teaching classes, um, up in Canada and that's where you really get the practice is when you're preparing for classes, you're making your projects, you're, you're doing, it just takes practice to do it. Yes. And it was just, it just got to be really fun. And then with all the new sets that were coming out and, Mm -hmm. you know, I started teaching more classes and more classes. And so for me, at least, you know, I just... I don't know. I, I had an interest in it like as an adult, but yes. And you know, kids, you know, when the business is in your house, it's, I know. it's not <laughs> your favorite thing. I mean, the business took over our house it did. when they were little That's right. and they would be playing and they would come in and I would say, you know, if the phone rang, stop, Shh, talking. be quiet, be quiet, Shh, be quiet. <laughs> Art impressions. Can I help you? <laughs> And they, you know, people thought they were calling like a warehouse or a really, you know, yes. office. And it was the kids and the neighbor kids yes. in the house, yes. you know, running around. Because so, we were young. You know, I really remember young. that as like, you know, fourth grade, fifth grader. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. running rubber in the garage until we moved now to our current yeah. location. Yes. <laughs> that was a lot of years of running rubber in the, in the garage. <laughs> and then stamps in the house and, you yes. know, yes. just boxes, shipping boxes yeah. everywhere and... Yeah. So I, that's probably true of all of them, but they yeah. weren't really interested in it when they were kids. And then as they got older, yes. that's as probably we got true older. Of Kendra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's the same with Kendra too. You just kind of, you're around it so much that mm-hmm. you just kind of start picking it up and yeah. You know, and it is easy. And the more you do it, I found the more that you want to do it because the better at it you get. Mm-hmm. So I think that's true. So Roberta, I hope that answered your question. And um, we are going to, are you ready to show the, Should we show, we need to show the freebies first. I know we're, we're going to show the freebies because they are just the cutest. Okay. So let me just say, um, this was Kim's idea and I get we were glory talk- for this and <laughs> I had to glory. specifically say, you make sure you give me a shout out. For yeah. <laughs> I had to demand that before we went online. <laughs> And, you know, a glory goes to her because she did think of it. And uh, we were having this discussion about it. And I said, I, I've just been putting these little free stamps off. And for those of you who don't know, uh, the freebies are a free gift for, for uh, you with a purchase of $30 or more. <laughs> you get a free little stamp. Well, they're exclusive yeah. and they are not sold. So you cannot purchase it. You get it as a free gift. And um, and they're, they're, uh, they're a limited time. So normally what we do is we put out you know, the first batch in the first six months. And then after that, we do the next batch and we discontinue those, the first ones. So that's what we're doing with these two. And then I've done all kinds of little animals and critters. And Kim said, why don't you do a village? A village. A little village. Yes, with all kinds of different buildings and houses. Mm -hmm. And she just took that to like a hundred levels above even what I was thinking <laughs> and made it just the absolute cutest. It's so cute. It, it really is. is. So it's really cute. You're going to want all of these and all six of these are available right now. So there are 12. There will be 12 mm-hmm. um, in the series. And then of course, at the end of 2024, they are all gone. Mm-hmm. But this first batch of six will be available through July. And at the end of July, then we will move on to the next six and then those will be available till the end of the year. And then they're gone. They will be gone. So um, this was a really, really fun little set to do. And you guys, I'm going to show it to you. And we're doing something also a little bit different with it um, in addition to those freebies. So I'll show you those two. Okay. So should we... Kim is going to do her journal. So let's... Switch. You know what, you guys? We don't have to pick the phone up. And we don't have turn to take the phone you on around. a roller coaster ride. Okay. Can you believe it? Okay. okay let's, let's see, see how smooth we can go. Here we go. And here we go. And Look here we us. are, you guys. So tech savvy. So tech savvy. Okay, here is the first six, and this is what they look like. They are individual little buildings, and you can see they what they look like colored. So this is the actual size right here of what they look like. 
And of course they will be, you can incorporate them into your simple scenes, into your watercolor scenes. And uh, if you notice, they've got little um, words on them so that you can label these however you want to label them. So here's the way they work. Uh, one, you can choose whichever one of these six. These are the first, this is the first batch that we're doing. So the little schoolhouse, these can be whatever. So this series of six are the first ones that this are available. This is my favorite right here. The, the little hotel. hotel. Yeah. You can choose whichever one you want when you place your order. This is with $30 or more. So you get to choose one of these little freebies and you can choose any of these that you want. And um, this is the exclusive little candy shop. You can see they're all labeled on here. The cafe, the hotel, the pet shop, the bakery, the schoolhouse. But you can see that you can label them however you want to because they all have a little area for a sign where you can put... You yeah, know, and you could really make them like into any anything, type of building you anything. want. Anything. Or a house even. Or a house, exactly. Mm -hmm. And... And here's actually how they look. So they're very simple. The line work is really simple, but here's the cool thing about these is that we have accessory sets. Look, can you <laughs> believe this? Okay, this is what I'm saying when I was saying that she took it to the next level because can you even look at these little vehicles <laughs> and these little greeneries? I just... I know this I one's got <laughs> it's it's over the cuteness is overwhelming me right now. <laughs> so um, here are all the little words. This is one set and it's got all kinds of little words. And you can here it's got this one that says somebody I just saw somebody say something about a pet shop. You can make any of these a pet yep. shop. They're yep. so little that you can't really see in the windows. And whatever you put on the sign is what it is. So I like, three. can we just show this? It, it can is. be the you AI know what? store. <laughs> we had it to include a little AI so we could make one of these buildings, the AI oh store. <laughs> There's Kim and Bonnie waving out the window at yes, you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so here's all these little, um, these little, little words and see how tiny they are. They just fit perfectly on the little buildings. Yes. So they'll fit perfectly in the little signs. And so do these. So there's a little mailbox. Little public mailbox. Like, a little is bench. that? Can you even? I just, I cannot. These are so, and you know why? It's because, you know, when I did the village, I'm like, well, there's got to be things that go along with the village. So, you know, the little trees. What about the trees and the bench and the little, the little mailbox? Like, we've got to have all these little things that go with the village. So, we have this little set, and you can buy these. These are for purchase. Yes, sets. you can buy these. Yes. Yeah, you can buy these little sets and they're available right now too and they're in a bundle. So if you are going to be collecting all these little houses, which you guys, they're so cute. We're showing you six right now, but there are mm -hmm. six more. There are 12 <laughs> in the series and they're so darn cute. You can also get all the little accessories um, that go with it. Look how cute and little these little vehicles are. <laughs> I, I just, just can't with them. And you don't have to watercolor them if you don't no, want to. No, You could use anything. Copics would be very cute with this. Absolutely. Colored pencils. Colored I mean, pencils. Literally anything. Anything. Anything would be cute. And then the little airplane. How cute. Oh, I can do an airplane. That is just so cute. What would you put on this? Hi. What would you write? Flying by to say making? hi. Yeah. <laughs> And of course you can write in, you know, whatever you want to on your little signs yes. too, but you can get all of these options right here and there are more than 12. There are lots of different options. Little or you could write your own in too. Or you could write your own in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We've got crafts. We've got the entire art impressions word here with the little <laughs> AI sign. <laughs> To just do a throwback to the AI store. Um, the AI store. That's right. When, I was when we like had in high school. Yes. Whatever, whenever that was. That's right. Really when we had our retail ago. store. Right. This this little one here is a little path from the front. Oh, I think. So do I have a sample? Cute. Yep. Here it is. The little path. So um, cute. These little topiaries are so cute. You could have a little open sign that you could hang on the lamppost. Um, this little hedge right here. I mean, they're just... And of course, you could use any of the foliages or flowers. Absolutely. Have, especially the minis. Those yes. would work really well with this too. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they would be cute for um, winter. How cute mm -hmm. would a little village, snowy village Christmas. be for oh Christmas? Uh-huh. They are going to be really, really versatile. 
Yeah, Sandy just said a, a Christmas, Christmas village. village. Yes. Do we need like at Christmas time an accessory set? <gasps> Maybe we do. Accessory. Sandy, you're giving us some Sandy, good ideas. I'm here. gonna write that down as soon as I'm finished. <laughs> I'm going to write that down because that would be so cute. Yes. And, you know, we know how to add snow to a roof. Yes. We know how to do that. And these are small. And so when you're coloring them, it really takes a lot of the pressure off because it does. they're so little. They're so little. Now, if you have a giant card that you want to make, you could use them all yes. in a row. Yep. But you can mix and match. And you can, like I said, you can use them in your mm -hmm. watercolor scenes. Mm -hmm. Put a little hotel out, you know, in a grassy field. With so like cute. the simple scenes, maybe? With the simple scenes, uh -huh. absolutely. How cute. Would yes. that be with the hills and the Yep, little, with like, the hills in the background. Water. A little country school. This mm -hmm. is a little schoolhouse, you guys. I just... be so, so cute in the background. So and the style of these, this is why they're watercolored, is because the style of them is... Uh, and the size is so that you can use them with your watercolor mm -hmm. so that they will work with what you have mm -hmm. with your watercolor. So specifically for that. And then, of course, you can use, you know, whatever medium that you want to use. So um, to recap, <laughs> <laughs> we have new freebies. <laughs> we have new freebies. The three of these. So the little vehicles, which is called the village vehicles, the village accessories and the village signage. These are in a bundle, the three of these, and you can purchase these on our website um, right now. They're available right now, and these will be available throughout the year. So, and there's a discount on the bundle. Is yes, it like, yes. Instead of give buying them all three separately, yes, if you you're get a going substantial to buy discount. them all. Yep. Then you might we give as well you a break. Bundle. Yeah. Yep. We absolutely do. We give you a break. So, you guys, let me. Can I just show them to you one more time? Mm -hmm. You can choose. You can choose whichever one of these. Yes, Carol. They would you be so want. cute in the mini journal. Oh, the How mini cute journal. To make like a village mini journal. <gasps> oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, it's, it's, Carol. It, that would just be the absolute cutest. Who wants to do that so we can see a sample of that? I know. <laughs> I know. I nominate all of you, especially maybe Diana. I think I nominate Carol. For <laughs> I nominate <laughs> Carol, yes. <laughs> Yes, and every page could be a different little um, building yes. with a different little sentiment. Maybe yes. a little play on words, like uh, come stay for a while with oh, the hotel. Cute. Yes. Or you're always welcome here. Or, yes. You know, I don't know, something, some kind of little pun saying that would be so cute to put these in the mini journal. But anyway, I've never done anything like this, so this is all new for me, <laughs> and I can't tell you how much fun I had doing it. <laughs> You yes. can tell. And these are available um, until July. Till July. The July, end of July 31st yep. at 11.59 p.m. Yep, that's right. And with every $30 order, you, you get, get to one choose free. one. Yep. Yes. You get one free. With any $30 order, you get to choose which one. And these will all be listed so you can, you can choose your um, favorite. These will never be on sale. Yeah. These like will never be on sale. Like available to be purchased. Yes, for purchase. Yes. No, they are free gifts. For yeah. you, because we appreciate you and your purchase and the way that you guys support us so much. So these are gifts. These are for sale. Yeah, these are for sale. But these little, this little village is, um, the freebies are always just a free gift. All right, so. Okay, this is not out. our newest, or no. this is not our only new release no. that we get to be talking about today. No, we get to talk about some. Okay, and <laughs> let me just say... <laughs> That this release is so cute because of Kim's journal. Okay. I mean, I have to say that this journal is maybe my favorite. That, yeah. That including your journal and mine. Yeah. All the ones that we've made, this one might be my favorite. Yeah. Um, I think you need to show it as we're showing the thing. Okay. Let me just really quickly just show to explain what these are. This is also a bundle. And the reason it's a bundle is because of Kim's class. Because <laughs> it all goes together. So <clears throat> let me just show you this first. This is a slim journal. And basically what it is, it's got a narrower spine than what we have. Let's just put these next to each other. Okay. We could just put it on the side. So you can see the difference here. So this, this is, is a new one. You can see it's about half the size. It only has one page on each side. Uh huh. So it's way it's a way simpler version. Yep. Everything else is exactly the same. The size and everything is exactly the same as the as the basic journal. So you can see you can see like, that it's it, all the it's same. It's all exactly the same. Pages. The everything will fit. All of your yeah. frames. Everything will fit in that. The same. It's just that you have one page. You yeah. only have to do one page. One page on each side, exactly. Uh huh. So it comes with a clasp 
because it is narrower. So you can see this clasp and it hooks the way that the little butterfly does. And we're gonna be showing this you know, down the road because we're gonna be doing lots with this one too. This is a great little journal for those of you who wanna make a journal and just don't have time to do all the pages in the large one. Yes, Diana's asking the page dies that we currently have. Yes, everything Absolutely. will fit with this slim journal except the clasp. Except the clasp. Yep, because it's narrower. So all of your dies, you know, all, and you'll, you'll see when I show you mine from my class, my sample here, you will see that I'm using like all of the ones from the journal, the die journal set. Yep, yep. And um, so all of your decorative pages, all of your frames, mm -hmm. uh, everything that we use in the basic journal, in the large journal, will fit in here yes. because it is the same. It's the same size. It's a big, big frame. That's why we gave you um, a clasp because the clasps don't fit with this journal. You can see this little narrow spine right here. No. Uh, no, unless you, um, you could, um, you could, cu you cut could it cut it. It's not, you'd have to like do you, a little crafting. You'd have to and a little, little bit of yeah, and finagling, just look, but mm -hmm. you could. I think you could, we yeah. haven't tried that. Um, it won't go all the way around, but if you, it, but see, because of the fold lines are very like narrow, you could maybe not use, uh, you could finagle it in a way that looks different from the slim journal, the way it would fit with that, mm -hmm. but it would still be cute. You know, we just talked about this too. Yeah. We just talked about this today. Could we make it fit a regular journal? And that's something that we're going to try. We have yeah. not tried that. We'll so try it. we made sure that you have a clasp in here in this in this journal um, die set. So that is a big one. This is a big one. And I feel like this is something that people have been wanting and asking for because the journals are time intensive. They're, yes. They're really time intensive yes. and they're so neat and we're not, not gonna stop making them because they're yes. just so much fun. But we could be making a journal, a full journal, and you could say, you know what? I don't have time to make all these pages, but I'm mm -hmm. gonna pick and choose. Yeah two or three pages out of here, and I'm gonna put it in a slim journal. Yes. And then get it sent. All right, uh, this was inspired by... Okay, so back in my... Diana, you're gonna to have to remind me which class this was. I think it was like in an October class, like last year, either 2022 or 2023. And we were doing a journal or something, and Diana was like, you know what would be really cute is a girlfriend's journal. And, and the light bulb went on. And the on. light bulb for both of us were like, oh my goodness, how cute would that be to give like as a friendship with somebody? And mm -hmm. you guys have been asking for more girlfriends for I don't even know how long. Oh. We we get messages forever. all the time that said, where are the girlfriends? We want more girlfriends. And so we, um, well, um, not we, she, the queen <laughs> bee here, she made a set that combines like the watercolor technique and the girlfriends that you absolutely love. And more. More yes. images. Yes, and um, we made this into a little slim journal. Journal. Oh my gosh, I you guys. Can't just, wait you to can't show wait. you. You just, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. And then as an accessory to it, we did this um, garden set. And it's got this cute mm -hmm. picture and the little garden shed, which is like a foundation. Yeah. So you can see it's a little glary here. Let me lift it up like this. So you can see that you're just filling in the little pots here and the little, the little watering can. This one just hangs, you know, from the little ra rafters. And this is so, you can see the image on the front. It's so cute, you guys. It is so fun. And you know, it looks really complicated in the projects I'm about to show you, but it's really not. It's not. It looks like it because it's filled. Um, the area is filled, but it's really, really simple. We're just adding basically flowers and foliage. Yep. That's yep. all. And I will be doing, so uh, Kim is gonna show you her journal, which is for her class. Uh, I will be doing a sample on this too. So I'll be doing a watercolor, you know, a coloring technique on one of these little images here. And actually um, we're so going to use see. this one today. Or yeah, this one. This one. one of the two. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to have a little watercolor project because we just, we need a project. <laughs> Even though we're just talking so much here, we, we decided to make the watercolor project a little, a little shorter <laughs> so that, you know, so we, we have more time <laughs> talk to you guys more. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let's. Is um, it time? So this one. Let me tell, say these um, numbers. This is a bundle. Also, <clears throat> this is a bundle, and a bundle means that it's discounted. If you buy all three, you get a substantial discount. 
and it just stays in the bundle and you guys can purchase it or you can purchase them uh, individually. Just totally up to you. But when they come out together and we feel like they are a set, especially for what we're doing, we try to put them in a bundle and give you a discount. Yes, and let me just say, you don't have to have these to do my class. Now, right, I'll go over all of the details for my in-person upcoming class again. We do have a couple spots available. It's almost sold out. Um, not sure about an online class yet. If you guys want an online class, actually, after I show you this, I'll repeat that again. Um, let me know in the comments. We're still trying to make a decision, but you don't have to have these to do my class. Right. They're just like, they just kind of go with the design. Uh -huh. And so that's why we decided to bundle them together. If you want. I mean, you don't have to buy the bundle, of course. No, you can buy them individually. Yeah. They're available right now. Yes. Immediately right now. Immediately right now on the website. The new freebies. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so here's your excuse to get the new freebies. <laughs> okay. Let's, you know what? I can't, you guys, the suspense is I, just too much. I just, I cannot wait any longer. And I'm going to zoom in since, you know, we're all techie now. Oh, yes. Okay. Can you even look at how cute this is? And again, the idea for this was that we wanted, um, I wanted some sort of a friendship um, gift for somebody mm -hmm. to celebrate friendship and I thought you know gardening and girlfriends and flowers and um, you know I thought it all went together just so perfectly that you know this would make a great gift for somebody special in your life um, and, and that special friend that maybe you don't always know what to give yes exactly you, just, you don't always know but you want something that that shows how much that friend means to you and yeah. something that they're going to keep forever. Yes, exactly. And you know, for me, I always want an excuse to give something to uh -huh. somebody, uh -huh. right? Especially <laughs> if we're watercoloring anyway. I mean, how fun to share that with somebody who's special to you, especially like a really good girlfriend. Okay, okay. so show us so what these look are. look at what we decided to do. So this window here is from... The Shadow Box. The Shadow Box. Uh-huh, from the Windows to the World. It's an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, it is. And <laughs> so it's... lots of you probably already have this in and your And it was stash. such a fun idea because we've never done this see-through little mm -hmm. window on the front. And it was just a really cute... Um, way to kind of showcase little girlfriends inside. Yes, yes. And check out what we decided to hang on here. Because okay. you know we love hanging things We just, now. we love like all kinds of little like knickknacks. Dangles. Things. Dangles. <laughs> Bangles and dangles. Okay, and look at what we did. You'll have to excuse my dirty hands here. Oh, we've been water clearing. Okay, look at this. A friend is a blessing, thoughtful, fun, obviously, <laughs> a gift, and a friend is you. Isn't that cute? And you know, you could always add your own, your own in there too to make it really unique. The things that you appreciate yes. about your special friend and Isn't you know. Isn't that just the cutest thing? It's you just so hang cute. right here and that's the first thing they say and you could put something cute in here. I don't have anything in there right now, but. A little heart. Yes. Okay. It's so cute. Okay, so we open it up. And remember, these only have one page inside. Yes, so they're one really... page on each side. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at this, best buds. You get it. I get buds. it. <laughs> <laughs> How cute is this? It's so cute. Um, and so with the class, you get an exclusive set, which I am not going to show you yet, but it will pertain to the journal here, something that goes right along with this. Um, so you get um, all the materials that you need. Everything is pre-cut, um, pre-stamped. They will be. There will be a... Um, you know, if we decide to do it, I should say, yeah, yes. <laughs> big if, if you there's guys, interest. If you want that online class, <laughs> put it in the comments. Put yes. it in the comments. This is, um, yeah, this will be uh, uh, lots of watercolor tutorial on this class. Yeah, a lot of it. <laughs> but see what she means by um, that stamping all inside. Yeah. This looks like a watercolor painting. Yes. A full painting. And it looks like a storybook, which I love. I yes. love this look so much. And it sort of takes it to another level, mm -hmm. what you're doing here. And I just think that this whole technique is so cute. And it looks very complex, but yes. is it? It's really not. Mm -hmm. No, no, no it's just not. adding. And see, we used a lot of the white paint here to add lots of different dimension to the flowers. Mm -hmm. And we put some background color. But that's really some vines. I mean, it's not uh -huh. much, no, honestly. We just basically, you just basically framed it is what yes. you did. Yes. 
Yes, and you can notice that like all of our colors are very light and muted in the background because we wanted the focus to be on our projects because they're so vibrant and beautiful and you know, just the perfect gift for somebody. Oh yeah. Okay. This would be a treasure. Look at this. Like simple, simple little flowers here. And just a And little... you can see that everything is the same as the big, the, the um, big journal. See the decorative pages? Those yes. are the same. Everything same. fits. Yep. Um, just like the big journal. Yep. So we've got a little tag in there. Just little pop borders. these up. Okay. And here is that shed. This is the shed, and you guys. You even <laughs> it's just like the cutest. Handle how cute this shed is. This looks peaks. like a painting to me. Yeah, it does. It does. And you know what? It takes a little bit to get that free hand, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. To kind of be a little loose yep. um, with what you're doing. Maybe a little bit more water. Yep. But adding the white paint, um, it just takes it to another level. It's just... It's so cute. It's just going to be the absolute, like, most fun thing the, to Absolutely and, the most fun. And make with you guys. Uh-huh. Um, okay. So this is just... This is from... That is from the um, one the of the scenic foundations. Yes, the scenic foundation. We just took this off here. I don't know if you guys recognize this one or have this one. It was in the foreground. It had the little house in the background. It might have been uh, the one with the creek. Yeah, maybe the I little can't stream. Remember. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember which one. Do you now. know what? We just can't remember right now. But isn't it cute? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> so we've got one page on each side, okay? And that's the page. That's the only page yes. there is. And here's this little gal. Look how cute She's she got her is. Little pot. Same idea. Yes. With the top up here, you can see that she just closed all this mm -hmm. in with a frame. Basically framed it. Mm -hmm. Look at the white flowers down here with the centers, the little daisies. Mm -hmm. So cute. Yes. So cute. And Kim. all you're stamping is the grasses. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you're That's just right. putting the white right on top. And you know, when you break it down and do one section at a time, it's not scary. No. It's not scary, but you end up with an amazing yes. work of art, really. And like, who would not want to receive this, honestly? I know. That's so cute. Okay. And this is might be one of my favorite parts. Okay. So this, if you recognize this, this is the page to the mini journal. Okay, so we're doing a little open. We're going to do a little little cute little card in there. And then this one opens too. Friends are flowers. Isn't that just Garden beyond? Now this paper pack, which one is this? This is the Easter paper pack, right? This is the Easter paper pack. And I want to say part of it. Yeah, no, it is the Easter paper is it the pack. Easter mm -hmm. paper pack there might be the one or part. two random ones in here from other packages. But mm -hmm. we'll but for let the most you know part, that, that mm -hmm. light blue and the... Um, and yeah, the the light. yes, exactly. And like yeah. this is from that Easter. Both uh -huh. of these are <clears throat> so cute. And, and then, then on that. the back, and this Wait. is what you see through when you um, are folding it all up properly. This is what you see through the window. Is that just the cutest? Look at these Look at gals. Boots. <laughs> and she put them in this little frame too, which is really, really cute. See, same idea yeah. of closing this in with mm -hmm. a frame. Closing it in, it keeps your eye, moves your eye to the center. Mm -hmm. And you're focusing on your girls, yeah. you know, that are um, sitting on their little bench. Yes, and I did not attach this. I didn't glue this to the white. So if you wanted to, like, take it out glue of there it. and just... You could put a little easel on the yeah. back. Yep. And you could stand it up, yep. which would be so cute. That would be very cute, too. And, you know, this is just the little tab. Yep. Little we tag. just tied a little string. Uh-huh. So, again, guys. everything works that mm -hmm. goes with the big journal. And um, you'll get a, a printout with all of these sentiments on here. So you can just cut them out and put them wherever. Or not use them. It's totally up to you. Even though it's a kit, like, I hope you know, those of you who have taken my classes online before or in person know that you can make it like your own yes. even though things are pre-stamped and you get the paper and all of that um it will still look like your own absolutely project. yeah because your own style anyway will mm -hmm. come through and as yeah. much as you try and you know what when kim does these again they're going to look a little bit different yes if i try to make yeah. them they're going to look different yes so we all kind of have our own style and, um, but this, these journals are just such a treasure for mm -hmm. people. Now she doesn't even have a clasp on here. She, you no. don't really need one. You can you do could, a ribbon. You could you do could a little do a ribbon. Clasp you could you do want, a clasp but... if you wanted. Uh-huh. But you could, um. I just didn't want to take anything away from this window <laughs> and these little tags here that I just. We just love these little yeah. tags. And They're this will fit so in the clear boxes. Yep. 
Yep, just sure like will. the other one. Just like the other one. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's just a little bit narrow. The only thing different is the different is yep. the spine. Is the spine. Yep. Otherwise, you put it together the same exact way. Yep. The die cuts it out the same way. So you're cutting out two of these, mm-hmm. two of these arch dies, and then you're gluing the straight edge um, together. And then it comes with a page. A page, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Comes with page and comes with the clasp. Yep. So you can see exactly. I'm how to so do glad it. to finally be able to show you this. I know because we've been talking about this class for weeks now, and we're just like, oh, just you know, and stay you tuned, show stay it tuned until, until, until we released, released everything. <laughs> and so she just was dying to um, show everyone. I and know. of course, we. I'm were like, too. trust me, just sign up for the class. Trust me, you it's will gonna think be, it's cute. <laughs> it's going to be so cute, you know. And then of course they get the full tutorials and yes, and I'll be doing some. Um, <clears throat> of course, I'll be doing some tutorials too. Um, well, and you're going to be there Wednesday. with me in the class. And I'll be there in the class You'll too. be there with me. And maybe I'll just, you know, hand over the brush to you <laughs> well, for whatever. a project here and there. <laughs> <laughs> Say, hey, we could do a, do co- a just collaboration. Over- yes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we, when did we, oh, we did that with, uh, was it at Christmas? Yes. You and Kendra and I. Yes. The gingerbread house. Or yeah, it, that's right. Candy house or we all like did that. a little bit on it. That was really fun. Yeah. Okay. So who's coming? Is anyone coming who's on live right now? Who is coming? I think Carol, are you coming? I think um, there's a few. Barbara, are you coming to the class? You have to come. I, I need. I haven't looked at the signups yet, so I don't know off the top of my head, but let me know. Um, and you know, if you're coming in the class, um, okay, let me let's, let's, hold on here. I'm just going to switch you back. Okay. Okay. Hello, look at hey. us. <laughs> We're just experts now. Now this. we can just talk and chat. <laughs> so if you are coming to the class, um, you get um, to shop. You get yes. to shop our shop. Um, lots of newly we'll have released food things. Yes, we're gonna make coffee. Bring some sandwiches in for lunch because mm-hmm. this is. This is going to be is a full occasion. This is a full day party. Class. Party. <laughs> this is nine to three. Yep. It'll, be, um, it'll take nine to three. <laughs> it will take nine to three. Yes, it will. We have to have time to get our coffee. We have time to eat our food. Yes. And talk, chat. Chat. Shop. That's my problem is that we always go a little bit later on my classes because I'm just Chatty. chatting up a storm. I don't know where that <laughs> I would never have guessed. So we're going to have lots of fun. And yes, we will be providing just a little sandwich lunch uh-huh. for you. We'll have something, um, maybe some muffins or something in yeah. the morning. Mm-hmm. I mean, since we're starting at nine. <laughs> and lots of coffee. And uh, and then we'll have lunch. Yes. And then and we'll more just, food probably yes, afterwards. We'll just eat and stamp and <laughs> watercolor all day. <laughs> and chat. Oh, it'll be so much fun, you guys. I, I know. And there are some of you that live so far away that it's just not possible. It I just know. It's such a bummer. But I wish um, we could just gather I know. just you, all of us, all of us together in our shop and, and you'll just, just hang out and chat. Just, I know. Wouldn't that be, yeah. just be the funnest? That'd be so great. <laughs> um, okay. So recap. And then Kim has got a little project using yes. something from one of our sets. So yes. she's going to be using a stamp from this little set right here. Yep. Just a fun little short yeah, project. Yeah, we wanted for to for sure all. do a um, a little project. So <clears throat> these three are in the bundle. So you guys, um, the little the slim journal, the girlfriend set, which includes one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six, there's seven, a lot of stamps eight, here. Nine, ten, <laughs> eleven sentiments, and one, two, three, four, five, six images. And these are big stamps. So can you show the back? So oh, look yeah, how good big idea. these stamps are. These are biggies. Yeah, they're big. And they're so fun to color and they're add so, foliage yes. too. That's the difference between these girlfriends and the other ones is that they're made, you know, you don't have to watercolor them. You don't right. have to. But there's, you know, pots on here that um, you, you can, can add your in. flowers and foliage too if you yes. want to do that. And then um, and then the little, um, this is called the Potting Garden Shed Set, this one here. Mm-hmm. And you can see, let me hold this up. You can see that it's got sentiments. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six sentiments. Mm-hmm. It's got the little um, pitcher, mm-hmm. which is so cute. And then the little garden shed, which you guys, it's so cute. Yes. Um, and then, um, of course, the Slim Journal die set. That is a bundle. So you'll get a significant discount if yeah. you get all three of these. And then, of course, all of our little um, village. Yes. The first six of the little village is now available. You'll get to choose which one you want. Yep. Uh, with your purchase of $30 or more. 
So don't forget that. And then the little accessory bundle. So these. The cars. I'm just always turning these around. Okay, can't. here we go. The little, the sentiments, the little vehicles, mm -hmm. and then um, the little um, accessories for the outside. The little trees and pots and the little mailbox. Mailbox is my favorite thing on here. <laughs> I think my favorite is the airplane or the bus. The bus is cute because you could color the bus in multiple colors. Mm -hmm. You could have it a little transport yeah. bus. Could or you make a it like bus. a hippie bus, like a seventies bus? <gasps> Wouldn't that be so, so cute? Cute. You know I challenge why? you to I, do that. I, you know why Kim thought of that is because it's yellow. <laughs> it's with colorful. I know. <laughs> I'm thinking of like a white, like city transit no. bus, but no. Um, a little hippie bus, absolutely. That's right. How cute would that be? That would be so cute. That's your era. era. That's your era. It is. Mom. Yeah. I wasn't a flower <laughs> child. Let me just tell you that. <laughs> Was not a flower child. How <laughs> too serious. <laughs> okay. I'm going to, um, we'll switch the camera back. Kim's okay. going to do her little project. And I am loving this setup. Uh, me too. This Let us so know. Great. Do you like it? Is it... Um, I've been seeing some comments on here that the quality is much better, which I am so glad so, to hear that. So glad. We've Thank been you. trying to Let figure out know. a better way for so long, and we're just, we're really happy that if this is going to be working. And thanks for, I see um, some of you had said you're watching from YouTube. So yes, thank that's you awesome. for letting us know that. Let us know. Be sure to, if you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yep. And like. and so Because I think then you get notifications if we're on live. If we're on live, right. So. Okay. And I'm get out of here. Exit stage get left. out of here. Okay, I'm gonna turn you guys around. Um, and not with the roller coaster way, with no, the button way. With a switch of a button. Yes, that's right. Okay, so somebody's asking when will we know if there's an online class? Probably by next week. Yep. We will know for sure. Um, it, if we do an online class, it will come out after the in-person class, and so that again is April thirteenth. Um, that is a Saturday and it's here, um, at our address in Oregon, um, from nine to three. Now I say nine to three, but you know, as much as we can get out by three, um, that would, you know, that's always the goal. But if we go over just a little bit, um, just know that in your mind because there's a lot to get through. Okay. Look at this cute little thing. So I pre-stamped it because we knew that we were going to be talking so much and showing you so many um, new stamps um, from the new release that I just, I wanted to just show you just something cute and short, um, but just an idea just for the day. Uh, so I am going to grab my palette here, but look at these flowers. They're just sort of cascading down from this little pot um, or this little picture here. And again, this picture is from the brand new um, potting shed set. Oh, I just can't get over this. This was so fun to color. Oh my word. I can't wait. I can't wait to teach it. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, I've already stamped my pot. And, or my, I'm gonna keep saying pot, but it's really pitcher. <laughs> so you're gonna want to um, tilt it. So you can tilt it more if you want. Um, as you know, to show it sort of in the process of dumping all these flowers out. Um, I just, I kind of did it halfway, you know, it, it already dumped most of them out, but I'm going to actually put one more in here. Um, and I'm going to add just a few more down here just to show you. So I stamped this in the combination of the blue and the brown, and of course stamped it off once. And so we're going to color this together. And then the next thing I did was I grabbed my ruler and I just made with my pencil, um, and just in case you guys ask how big this line is, it's about, it's about three inches. I just drew a line in with my pencil because, so as I was sort of putting this project together, I found that the first couple of times, um, I didn't like how the flowers were falling. And so I needed to give myself a guide in order to know where to stamp them. Okay, now this is so simple. Like flowers can fall any which way. There's no, you know, exact way you have to point them. Um, just grab whatever flowers you have in your collection and just make your line and stamp them down the line. Okay, I stamp them, you know, stamp them. Some going this way, some going this way. I, you know, you can see some of them are crossed like that here. And then when I color them, I'll sort of bring that out a little bit more just to highlight that. And they're just sort of falling. 
And I'm going to add, you know, two more on the ground here and then one more coming out of the pot. But just, you know, for the sake of time, I pre-stamped some of this. Um, but let's get started coloring. Coloring our little pot here. I mean, there's nothing to coloring this pot. This is so simple. I'm going to take um, my 526 from my palette. And we've all colored, you know, how many pots since we've been watercoloring. <laughs> Okay, thank you Val for letting me know that because it's so nice. She's saying that the video is good so much of the time, like it's out of our control because of the connection. And so we try to come up with this, you know, different setup here just to avoid some of those issues we've been having. So I'm glad to know that at least right now it's working good for you. Okay, so first thing we're going to do before we add our color in is we're going to pull the color out of the lines here just very lightly. And I'm not going to make this too wild and crazy, this pot. I mean, you could just, you know, kind of keep it white to make the focus on the flowers. Um, but I'm just going to add a little bit of this blue in because I think it complements all of these nice, bright, warm colors. Um, thank you, Wendy. I appreciate you saying that. Oh my goodness, Peggy, uh, you are coming to the new class. Yay! Oh, you have the best, you have the best family in the whole world. She's saying that she got um, the class as a gift. That is so sweet. They sure know you well, don't they? Peggy is, we get to see Peggy sometimes. She, she lives very close to us. Okay. Um... So I'm going to take some of my blue here and, you know, always think before you start coloring, where is your source of light? Okay. So the source of light is going to be right here because it's tilted. Normally it'd be right in the middle because it's, you know, a rounded object, but it's going to be sort of right here. So I'm going to put most of my color. And again, I'm just going to do this very lightly because I want most of the focus to be on the flowers. Okay, just a little bit of light color here. And I'm just using the number four brush. Okay, if any of you guys also, this just reminds me, now that we're talking about brushes, um, and Leah can clarify this, but I'm pretty sure we have new brushes. We have a new um, brand of brushes on our website because we could not get these anymore. For some reason, the manufacturer like just stopped making them. <laughs> or just were not available. I don't know. I don't know what the supply chain issues were exactly but we had to switch um, but the new ones are great they are going to work fabulous for you and actually they have like a little bit better of a point in my opinion um, but just in case you're looking for a new brush and you don't see these red ones on the website do not fret because the ones that are on there are really good so again just adding just some just some very light color here and again, keep in mind of where our highlight, okay? So the sun's gonna come down here. Now you could make this darker and then obviously you'd add a little more color, um, but I just, I don't wanna do that much. Okay, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this and I should write here, 565. Hello, Pat. I'm glad you're watching on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so I'm just taking some of this light, really light. And you know, always you can see that I'm pinching off my color or pinching off my brush. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit of shadowing down here, okay? You don't need to do much, you really don't. And then I'm gonna take my small brush. This one is a zero, just what I had. You could use a one also. I mean, you could also use a four, just whatever you have. Don't let it stop you from doing this project if you don't have, oh, I don't have this exact thing, I can't do it, I don't have this, or you know, I have to buy this before that. Just use what you have. And if you only have a number four brush, that's totally fine. And I'm just making some lines. I always like to make these lines just to give it a little bit of interest. And then maybe just a little heart here. Okay, so again, not much. We're not doing too much here. I add just a tiny bit more. Just kind of keeping it light. 
Okay, now I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna grab my uh, post-it tape here. Let me just grab that. That didn't make it over here. And I'm going to mask in um, a flower coming out of the pot. And you don't have to do this. Like the first couple of times I made this project, I did not add anything in the pot and it looks so cute. So you don't have to do this, but I just, it, I just think, you know, if you want to be extra, <laughs> why not? <laughs> so I'm going to take my flower and most of these flowers are coming from this set. Okay. So this one, this one, this one, um, the one that I'm using here is, I believe, and this is, sorry, I took that away too fast. This is from Flower Set 3, but any sort of long stem that you have will work. Again, use what you have. Hello, Andrea. You missed some really exciting, exciting things. So you're definitely going to have to go back and rewatch. Okay, so I'm going to take my purple, and this is upside down. <laughs> this is 636, and I'm just going to color in blooms here and then the green I used is actually this one I don't use this one very often but I really like it 346 thank you hello Kim thank you for saying that jump into the watercolor the AI watercolor technique you are going to be so great and also post your pictures because we like to follow along and get inspired by what you're making Welcome, welcome. Okay, so you can see I just colored that in normal and I got my masking tape here. And you're gonna want a flower that kind of um, points in this direction as opposed to one that goes that way. And I'm just gonna st stamp it one time. Okay, and I'm gonna pull this off. And look, it looks like it's just coming out of there. Isn't that so cute? So cute. <clears throat> <laughs> Mary, that's so funny. You know, in our old station, you never you never really knew what you were going to get. If you were going to get a fuzzy video, if you were going to get, you know, a lag time. I'm just, I'm glad to, at least today, to be moving on from that. <laughs> but let us know what you think. It's just fun. It's fun to, you know, have an updated space. It is it boosts the creativity, I think. Um, and I don't know, I just, it makes it may, at least for me, it makes me want to create more. Okay. So I'm just taking my, I'm taking my zero brush, but you can use again a four and I'm just softening these blooms here. Okay. Just softening them up. You can kind of come out of the area a little bit. And I should say that I use 725 for the pink. And again, um, 636 for the purple and then the green was 346 so I'm just softening these bulbs up and you could put um, if you're going to do a blue background here like for sky um, just make sure to do that before you stamp your flowers and just very very lightly um, <clears throat> that would be also very cute I'm just gonna just soften this and just extend this line a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna add um, one or two more stamps down here. And what you could even do, if this is helpful to you, is take your ruler and Give yourself sort of a line like this as to where you're going to stamp the ones on the bottom. Okay, you could make a whole pile of flowers here, maybe, you know, less here and more like in a big um, pile here. That would be so cute. Okay, there's subtitles. I didn't know that. Thank you, Mary, for telling me that. I didn't know. Great. You know, I will tell you that my little five-year-old, he demands to watch his videos with the subtitles on. So that's like how he has learned to read, I think. Um, so I'm used to having subtitles on everything. Okay, so the, the last thing we're gonna do, like I said, is we're gonna add um, maybe one of these purple guys just here. 
And then um, maybe one more um, just right on the ground. And again, there's no like exact way to do this. You can do it however you want. And you can use your positioner. If you're kind of nervous about the placement, um, use your positioner. And actually what I did is I practiced um, the placement of my flowers with the line before I even stamped this. So I sort of got that down first and then I did one um, with the stamp. So how different are the new paintbrushes? Okay, Terry, I think the only difference is that they have a little more of a point to them a little bit that, um, rather than like the red ones have like sometimes a little bit of a flat edge. Um, but Leah can clarify that. Um, I think they're fine. <laughs> I, think, I think they work great. Um, and actually next time I'm on or next time... Uh, Bonnie is on. I will uh, make sure that we have the new ones so that we can show you guys. Yes, I and I don't know, Ruth Ann. You have to tell me. Do you like them more pointed? I kind of do. I think that they work um, like really a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just gonna be stamping this guy here, and I'm gonna do one more, and we're gonna do this one. Let's do this guy in pink. Why not? Why not? Again, these flowers are all from Flower Set 3, but use what you have. And just pay attention to the way that they're facing, okay? Because some of them face towards the left and some face towards the right. So you want a combination of both. And then this one is kind of straight. So like this, okay. Just going to this guy right there so that's pretty much all you do I'm gonna pull the color out these guys are the ones that have fallen on the ground and what we can do is we can add a shadow to show that they are these ones are actually like on the ground okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this green you can take it from your palette And then you're just gonna take your little brush and then you're gonna um, just soften this first. And you're just gonna add just a little bit of a shadow here. Okay, so here we go. Here's our project. And then the last thing you wanna do is just go ahead and erase your line and make sure that it is obviously all dry. But look how cute this is once you take your lines out. Isn't that so cute? And you can just add your blue if you want. And actually maybe I will add a little bit of blue. Just a tiny bit of very, very light, light blue here. Just to give it some interest like in between. And then we'll just lighten that up here. You just want this just a tiny bit. And again, the best thing to do is do this before you stamp your flowers. Because um, you kind of, you want it to be behind. And this way, like I'm kind of having to go around a little bit. But so if you're making this, make sure you do that. And just a little bit here and there. And that's it. Thank you guys so much. Let me click you back here. Okay, hold on. Okay, <laughs> hello. I have to just get back on again, just because I just want to sit here again. <laughs> Thank you for just that following out so cute. with me. Just a short little project, just an idea for you. Um, you know, you could have as many flowers falling out of that thing as you want. I love that idea. I love the little shadow on the bottom showing yeah. where the ground is. That's and right. Any of your flowers, really. You yes. can pick out any. Yeah. And uh, make them coming out of that little pot. So, <clears throat> great job. This was great. Thank you all for being on here with mm -hmm. us. And those of you who are on YouTube, thank you so much. This is great for us. Be sure to um, subscribe and um, like you know like the video yes. and then so then um, you don't miss us because sometimes we'll be on live and we don't 
not like necessarily at a scheduled time. Right. We may just be popping mm-hmm. on all the time now. That That's we, right. And you don't want to be missing us. You don't want to miss be us. Mi- not us, but you don't want to be missing <laughs> the projects. <laughs> That's right. So let us know what you think about our new yes. setup. Let us know if everything was clear for you. And especially let us know if you've been watching on YouTube. Yes. That is great. All right, everyone. Thank, thank you, you so much. And um, we appreciate you being with us today. And we'll see you all again. Yes. Bye, everyone.